Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl be Ami and we have a few things to talk about. Trump supporters are ready to start up the second civil war in the capital. Dr. Dre is on the verge of death. Kanye West and Jeffree Star has been trending and we're only on the seventh day. Oh lord. This is the seventh day guys in 2021 and it's popping off already it's crazy i'm gonna narrow it down that was just a little conclusion a little roundup of what the what seven days or six days actually because we're only on the seventh what six days of 2021 has looked like so far and there has been other things as well of course i spoke about kim and kanye's divorce but it's crazy i think the biggest thing that people are talking about right now of course is this whole situation going on in america and you guys from last year i think it's fair to say that anything really that happens in america actually affects other parts of the world so i'm going to touch a little bit on that today i would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section especially for those who are in america who do watch my channel um i think you will probably um be able to express a little bit more than me so first of all i just want to touch up on this whole jeffrey star situation jeffrey star is extra okay he I, I just think he's just an attention seeker he was trending and people was acting as if there is something going on with Jeffrey and Kanye internet was going crazy um saying that allegedly jeffree star and kanye west had a thing jeffree is in wyoming and of course that's where kanye stayed and i just felt like he was just stirring the pot i don't know why he released that especially during a time where it's a sensitive time for both kanye and kim and i just can't believe that people are just running with this idea i don't believe it at all for one second that anything happened between jeffree and kanye west he's not somebody that i could take seriously he's somebody that i just feel like is really problematic and yeah i'm not even going to entertain that i'm just you know i was just reading through the tweets and i was just like really really are people actually doing this anyways let's move on to more serious and important matters and what is currently happening in america <laughs> I will note, however, Home Secretary, as indeed others will, the two words that didn't pass your lips there were Donald and Trump. What will it take for a senior politician in the British government like yourself to condemn the actions of this man? Well, I think I think absolutely the violence, you know, should stop, and he should he should absolutely um, condemn everything that has taken place. Um, you know, there's no question about that at all. Someone was shot. People have died. Um, this is terrible, terrible beyond words, quite frankly, and there is no justification for it. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm pushing on this is because it has been conceded by people on both sides of the political divide in the United States, incredibly senior figures on the Republican side as well, that the President of the United States, Donald Trump, is complicit in what we saw on Capitol Hill yesterday. On that basis, I think what people may want to hear from a very senior politician like yourself is a statement, a bold statement, condemning the involvement of Donald Trump in what happened yesterday. Well, I think first of all, I mean, he made a statement yesterday and it did very little to de-escalate the situation. So there is no question, first of all, there's no justification. You know, words of provocation are completely wrong. Um, and quite frankly, every aspect of the violence and the activities that took place should be condemned. That is absolutely right. And, you know, quite frankly, we've, we've seen, you know, we've heard from the president-elect, we've seen just shattering, absolutely shattering pictures um, coming out from, um, from Washington. And as I've said, America is a beacon of democracy and freedom. And quite frankly, it's right now um, that they move on, they get on with an orderly transition. And that violence, there's no justification for it whatsoever. It has to stop. I don't really know if I can agree. I mean, you guys can obviously correct me if I'm wrong um, when she's saying that America is a beacon of democracy and freedom. 
I think freedom for who? <laughs> Democracy for who? That's the question that I would I would ask. I mean, I don't want to talk too much into American politics because, you know, I'm not, I didn't study politics. I'm not a politician. Any opinion that I share is just on the basis of what I see and what I read and just my thoughts, my general opinion about it. That was Home Secretary Priti Patel, a second generation immigrant from India who was kind of refusing to condemn Trump for using language that incites violence, which is obviously what has happened. I think a lot of people did actually predict this was going to happen. Despite her background, um, she's obviously proven to be viciously anti-immigrant, um, you know, based on her actions. One that I spoke about last month, uh, her deporting the Jamaicans, even in the middle of a lockdown, in the middle of a pandemic. Now, the images and videos going around of these Trump supporters is absolutely crazy. Um, I couldn't even put them in the video, but you only need to go on Google or look on your social media, you will see there's photographs um, being shared online on all social media platforms of people who stormed the US Capitol um, which suggests to far-right movements and um, there is no evidence so far to prove that the Antifa activists were part of the mob that entered the building on Wednesday. Now there is a lot of discussion going around um, obviously comparing the Black Lives Matter protest to obviously what is currently going on at the moment and the reaction of the police and you know whether if these were blacks would the police have reacted differently and Piers Morgan posted this tweet so so far local authorities have announced that four people died after this whole thing happen um, when they entered the Capitol building and engaged with um, riot police that happened on Wednesday. Both chambers of Congress recessed debate after the mob forced a lockdown at the Capitol and they had to evacuate. So guys there is just a lot going on right now. I think a discussion that needs to be dissected <laughs> Um, so I'm going to leave it here. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment, sh in the comment section. Um, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you guys in my next video.